Watcher guys, welcome back to the Zeus Daz and Emulated Retro Game Channel and I go by the name of Zeus and this time round I'm going to bring you the fantastic sequel to the classic Renegade on the 128k Spectrum Target Renegade, also known as Renegade 2. In this game uh, it's not so much um, single levels, you're on a big mission to, a long mission to confront Mr. Big and basically what you've got to do is the story goes as your brother Matt went out to uh, go underground and uh, sort of like a spy to see what Mr. B, uh, the dealings of Mr. Big was going on at the time. Uh, he got caught and met a very unpleasant uh, ending. So now your brother, who uh, I believe, I'm not sure if it's the if, if you're controlling the brother that was in the first game, the first Renegade, or he was the one that went underground and got killed and. This is his brother. Anyway, regardless, this is one of the brothers. Is going out and for one thing, to get hold of Mr. Big and and deal with him. And it's spread across uh, five different levels. You've got the uh, um, the, par the car park. The second level is the Siege Street, which is basically a lot of prostitutes at night. Third level is the good old British skinheads, skinhead punks. Fourth uh, level is um, well, they resemble nothing more than the Beastie Boy fans actually in this dog that keeps coming along trying to bite you and then the fifth level which is in the pub uh, against these huge thugs before you get to him uh, get to Mr. Big got beat up then then it is Mr. Big this uh, this is what Ren uh, Double Dragon should have been where the huge cock up Double Dragon conversion was this came along and um, cured everyone's frustration it was a winner uh, again if you don't know this for the ZX Spectrum uh, you need to be shot for God's sake. That's uh, again like the first game. It is a necessity to have that in your collection. Um, I played both, all three versions: the Spectrum, the Amstrad, and the C64. Uh, the C64, in my, in my opinion, easily has the best soundtrack, probably on the on uh, ever on any 8-bit game. As far as 8-bit uh, uh, soundtracks go, it's my favourite of all time. It's pumping music. Sadly. The gameplay isn't uh, that easy. It's not easy to complete unless you know what you're doing. The Amstrad version, um, what's good about that is you can have a two-player game, uh, which is brilliant. But sadly, two things I didn't like about that version is number one, it looks very nez to me, as in Nintendo graphics. Uh, not the SNES, but the actual original NES. It looks very nez to me. Uh, it's got a very small play area compared to the other two versions and the punching noises sound like um, you're kind of punching a pillow there's no crisp sound kicks or punches um, and this version again there's two there's a 48 with no music and the 128k version which is what we're going to do now try and do a long play with commentary and to me this again you can do two player the characters are big they're detailed uh, the screen is quite large a quite large play area compared to the others it's just a winner. It's just a winner all over. Let's get going on with this then. We do a one player game. First of all, you've got to kick these like that. It's very different looking to the first Renegade, but yeah, you can knee him again. You can't sling them over your shoulder in, in, in this version or any version actually. But this uh, is such a joy to play. You get weapons as well. Got a sledgehammer here. The characters are well drawn again, um, which they did this time for the other two 8 bits, unlike the first Renegade, which for me ruined them. It's down to one fire button. It makes life a lot easier. But the beauty of this game, obviously, is you can get, uh, you can have two players. The C64 version is designed slightly different. For a start off, the car park has four levels, whereas this and the Amstrad have the three. The C64 is more, it has more sort of cartoony graphics. The collision detection is terrible in it, so you've got to know what you're doing, when to press the fire button. You can complete it. It can be easy if you know what you're doing. But as I said, the music score on that is easily the best 8-bit uh, music for me across any game. It's fantastic. Oh, oh, that was well timed. Bit rusty. Oh, you rabbit poaching me, dirty rat. Come here, you bastard. That's enough of that. There's only so much I'll put up with. Oh, I'm getting leveled there. 
Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out. You can knock all three of them down if you get them in the line. Yeah, you can knock two down. You definitely knock three if you got them in line. So yeah, it's not exactly uh, a walk in the park, this, this first level. They certainly make you work for it. And in two-player game, um, you get twice as many enemies. So playing this with a mate is fantastic, especially if you uh, if you both know the keyboard. It's much better to use the keyboard. It's more accurate. Joystick I found for Renegade and Renegade 2, uh, Target Renegade, wasn't easy at all. wasn't very playable. So it's always got to be uh, keyboard. And of course, with two of you, a bit easier when you're kids, but when there's two of you, two pairs of hands on a Spectrum keyboard, it's a bit cramped. Third, third stage of the first level. Oh, come on, grab it, that's it. Oh, double knockout there. Again, you can get on the floor and, and beat the crap of them. Oh, well, he was dead anyway, so that was, that was what you see. Right, I should be able to do it with him. Sledgehammer again. Oh, again, thank you, Ocean. This was a program by, uh, I believe, Mike Lamb. Music by Gary uh, Biasolo or Biasolo. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly, but uh, everyone knows what I'm on about. He was the guy that programmed, uh, that did the 8-bit uh, music of this of this game on all of them. I think actually he might have, somebody else did the 48k version of the Spectrum music. I think, I could be wrong. Come on, we'll take some, some sledgehammer, do you? Come on, is that it? Right, level one done. Now we're on to the uh, prostitute level. Again, the Amstrad in this version is very different from the C64. You see, there's one bloke, just one on here, that comes along and shoots you. You can actually get him to shoot your women in the back if you get him right. Oh, cool, that was close. There he is, you see him, he just come along there. Um, but in the C64 version, in the C64 version, um, there's a load of them. Right, shoot her. Right in the back. <laughs> Dirty rat. Yeah, so in the C64 version, you can, um, uh, there's, uh, you beat up one gunman and another one comes along. And not like this, where one guy just comes across on the screen from the left hand side. Oh, nice shot. Thanks, mate. Saved me a job. I don't know what the hell that is they've got. It looks like a scepter or some, something. And there he is. He's run out of ammunition, so now you've got to face him. That's their boss. That's their pimp. Ooh. And I'll tell you what, these, these women can pack a nasty punch, bitches, so you know, just whack me in the mouth. Right, not so much either, you pimp boy. Again, I mean, the, the character itself looks so cool. He, it looks like he's just strutting. Let's put shades on him and it just looked cool. So those uh, lives at the bottom, at the counter, you know, he looks like a... Looks like he's got curly hair with a quiff. Whereas the actual character looks more like he's got hair gel in his in his in his uh, in his hair and some shades on him. Looks much cooler. So I don't know why they uh, made him look different on the uh, live counter. But again, if you know a mate that can play this game, oh, two-player game is just heaven on this. It really is. But. Sadly, the, the mates, the mate or two that I had that could play the game, um, I've lost contact with a long time ago, so that's that's certainly not going to happen. I mean, I might um, get a few practice goes. Maybe the wife might help me uh, play a two-player game on it. She's done a few two-player games with me on, on my channel. Often than not, when you see me doing uh, two-player uploads, it's her that's playing it with me. That's a good thing about my wife. <laughs> she doesn't mind me playing these video games, up to a point. To the point she even likes playing them herself. As long as I do the chores around the house, I'll be alright. Okay, right. I think we're coming nearly to the end of this level now because I recognise that little renegade uh, 
sign on the edge of the screen there. I think about time I lost this scepter, I'm getting a bit bored with it. That's it. Oh, look at that. That's vicious. Straight in the nuts. Ouch. Not very nice at all. Yeah, last part of the, of, the, of the level. Next stage is one of my favourites, which is the uh, uh, the British, I've got to say the British. Typical British skinhead punk from the 70s. Uh, the old Sex Pistols uh, fans. And all they like doing is headbutting you. So yeah, kind of um, a sentimental value level three, <laughs> if you want to put it like that. Uh, the British punk is exactly what it is. It was British. It didn't belong to another culture. That was ours. The old punk movement. Ow! Ooh, getting close to losing my first life. That ain't gonna happen. I think I've... Yeah, I've finished you off. That's it. Level three. The punk level. Here we come. Love this level, and, and what's really good about this is three different enemies. And there's one with a Mohican, there's a skinhead, and he headbutts you, he's a vicious bastard. And there's a black one too. Oh, there he is. Or a guy with a mask on, whatever one you want to do it. But, oh. Oh, see that, two headbutts. Vicious. You get a few of them on you, two of you together, and, um, um, yeah, it could be the end of you. Oh, don't fight them fist on fist, mate. You're not going to win. They're tough fuckers. Oh, <laughs> but if I had the same idea of the move there. Oh, you tried to headbutt me then, didn't you? <laughs> you want to try that again? Do you? Oh, he bloody did as well, didn't he? He bloody did. I'm not sure about what that black guy's supposed to be. I don't think he's a punk, because... Um, wasn't a black thing, the punks. Yeah, get rid of you. Get rid of you too. Aha! Uh, the axe. I remember that. Remember that weapon. Crack, Ronnie. <laughs> that would hurt. That would seriously hurt, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh. see these skinners that have got exactly what they are uh, known to have and that's heavy uh, foreheads very thick foreheads headbutt specialists okay. the spectrum uh, the, the 48k version loads the levels in separately which can be annoying because you have to keep waiting ruins the fluency of the game and there's no in-game music but yeah, apart from that, it's exactly the same. The 1 to 8k version, of course, loads the entire game in one go, and the bonus is you get the 1 to 8k in game music. So it's a, it's a real treat if you've got uh, the 1 to 8k. Of course, you've got to load that version in. And as I said, it was very. I remember this was roughly the screenshot I first saw in a magazine, anyway, about Renegade 2. And at first I thought, mm, well, I don't know, it don't look as graphically cool as the first game. I mean, the graphics on the first game are beautiful on the specy. Stop coming up with the same bloody moves as I am. Stop copying me. Um, but once I loaded it in, once we all loaded it in at school, oh, I think I've been knocked out. Is that me? You, you took a life off me. You bat oh no, I'm still there. Get off! Get off! I don't want any button me. Right, just me and you now, eh? I think that's... Yeah, that's it. Um... Yeah, when we first played it, it was like the next day at school. Oh my god, did you did you play it? Did you get to play it? Did you get to play it? And whoever, whoever didn't have it, I remember buying the original. And as soon as I came in with it the very next day, and I knew when it was, the first reaction I got was, Oh, let me borrow it, let me borrow it. Oh, go on, let me borrow it. Oh, fuck off, I only just got it today, this morning, before I come to school. I've got the agony of coming to school, knowing on my mind that in my bag is Target Renegade, and I want to play it. I remember that. That was in uh, the first year of my school. I remember that. Yeah, these are dodgy bastards now. You, they, they, they duck when you jump over them. These are Beastie Boy fans. Uh, I've always looked at them as the Beastie Boy fans. I don't know why. 
I think it's the medallions they've got around their neck. It always reminded me of the old famous Volkswagen things. Um, oh, the caps, I mean. They just look like, uh, yeah, they just look like they're Beastie Boys to me. And being a real, uh, a real big dog lover, um, I have certain reservations about kicking that dog. Uh, in the head every time it comes along, but you know, at the end of the day, it's trying to bite my my bollocks, isn't it? So, uh, sod it, and it's an ugly dog anyway. Oh, ouch! God, these can punch back, so you don't want to. Yeah, right. Oh, he had me. Look at him, vicious little bastard. Oh, you little bastard. Oh, I thought he was going to turn around. I mean, me, my character. I wanted to punch him instead of kicking him. Right, that's you and you out of the way. Fucking hell. Oh, it's just... I'm glad I'm doing this Let's Plays for this, because it gives me an excuse to play it again. I just absolutely freaking love this game. I love both of the Renegades. I don't really talk much about Renegade 3 because that was a fucking disgrace. That really was. That was a very sad end to a uh, to, way to end the chapter. Oh, um, I personally think they should have done a fourth one. Just to, um, oh, I'm not timing that well, am I this time? Um, I think they should have done a fourth one just to um, uh, make amends. Because the third one was so bad. How they could have gone from Renegade to Renegade 2 to Renegade 3 uh, is beyond me. I don't know who came up with the idea, the storyline for going back in travel, and it was so unplayable on all the formats. Uh, music was good on 64, but my god, that's all it had going for it. It was a shit game. Damn shame, as I said. Seems to be quite a long level, this. But more than Mario, I love it. I love this game. It's, you know, it's disappointing when you actually finally do be uh, get to the end of the game. You want more. But Renegade Three. Why didn't they take? They took Renegade, remixed it a bit, and made it even better. They took Renegade Two. Well, they didn't, did they? They didn't even look at Renegade 2 or Renegade 3. They just completely started with a new board, a new idea. It was a bloody awful idea, and that was that. Why didn't they take Renegade 2 and build on that? You know, two-player again, big characters. I don't understand what went wrong. I really don't. Maybe by then Ocean they were struggling with uh, money, and they thought, quick, let's just get an idea out there. Renegade 1 and 2 were such big hits. Uh, which guarantees everyone's going to buy Renegade 3. Unfortunately, that was right. Oh, I've lost my first life. Fair enough. All right, I lost my first life. Okay. I'll let you get away with one. Ooh, cheeky kick. Oh. Damn, is that dog? Should we leave the dog to the last? Ah, oh, punched it that time. Dead yet? No, you are now. Here we go. Level five, final level. Now we've got to try and beat up uh, Mr. Big's bodyguards. And these are tough bastards. Tough, tough bastards, these are. Oh, shit. Again, they duck. Double teamed me there, didn't they? Double teamed me there. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. Headbutt right in the face. Nasty. Yeah, you can't muck about with these guys. At all. See what I mean? Right, change of tactic. I haven't killed one yet, and I've almost lost another life. Oh, you need to fucking swipe at the end, didn't you? I'm going to have to grab that cue. Do some back kicks. Get me wrong, you can't do this all the time because it only takes one to um, 
Oh, you, you fucking grabbed it off me, you cheeky bitch. Oh, you <laughs> took a crafty swing at me, did you? Oh, another life gone. <laughs> right. I need that, I need that cue. Have it now. Yes, right then. Now we're in business. And believe me, I know how to use a queue. I've been playing snooker for over 30 years. Exactly how to use a queue. Not necessarily in the way this guy's using it, but you know. You don't ref my game properly, it's gonna be swung at you in a different way, mate. Right. Be careful. I don't like using the queue on Mr. Big, because it makes the game too easy. Let me get rid of some of these. Are you dead? No, it must be now. Right, Mr. Big, here he is. Now, oh, there we go, one life gone already. Just like that. Boom. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't believe it. I didn't get a fucking chance to get up then. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, fucking hell. This ain't looking good, is it? This ain't looking good. Right, I've got no choice. I've got to get the fucking cue. He's, he's um, beating the shit out of me in this. But I will say, oh, game over. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, dear. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I usually beat the shit out of him quite easily. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, there's Renegade 2 for you. Oh, that's a shame about that. I thought I was going to actually finish it. Well, what happens is when you beat him, you get um, uh, about 30,000 points uh, reward. And um, uh, then it goes back to level one. The Commodore 64 version, though, I do prefer better on that. Mr. Big is easy, the best looking out of the three versions. I mean, when I first saw him, I thought, shit, what? this guy was wading his way to me, massive. Um, whereas the Amstrad version and the Spectrum version, yeah, you can see he's the, he's the big boss, but um, he's not as intimidating as the Commodore 64 version. And the Commodore 64 version, in fairness, also had a nice little ending, whereas the Spectrum and the Amstrad version just rolls over to uh, level one. But I tell you what, boys, that is one of the best games on, on any of the 8-bits out there. It's the best beat-em-up on, on the 8-bits ever, in my opinion. That's a way above, <laughs> certainly way above Double Dragon, way above the yeah, Kung Fu's and Exploding Fists, way of the Tigers, you name it. If you like beat-em-ups and you love the old 8-bit 8, 8 retros, you must have, especially on the Spectrum, you must have Renegade and Target Renegade. Without a shadow of a doubt, you must have those two games in your collection because they are the best, best ever. And uh, I love both of them. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, Let's Play, guys. Until next time, um, happy gaming.